What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the best weapons found currently throughout Fallout 76. We have the Cryolator. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary Cryolator that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the 2-shot effect, which is it shoots an additional projectile, has a 25% faster fire rate, and it also has a plus 1 to perception. Over in the mods, we're using the Crystallizing Barrel, Recoil Compensating Stock, and the Glow Sights. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Cryolator, we've made our way to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name William. We're just gonna start with a little vats hit to the face real quick if I can hit him. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Look how fast his health has already drained. Now of course we're gonna hit him outside of vats now to destroy him. Look at that! That behemoth froze instantly. The next targets on our list are all the slightly smaller supermunes located at the West Tech Research Center. And sir, what are you doing? What are you doing over here? Why don't you just go and get away from me, you stupid fool? Oh, oh, did not mean for you to explode like that. I, I do apologize. I was trying to stop the bomb and all, but uh, it does not look like I did so. Now we're just going to get this guy in vats real quick. Hey, guys, don't forget about me. I'm over here. Remember that. I'm over here. Don't forget I'm over here. Look at that. Two shots and technically four, and that super mutant is dead. Hello, sir. Would you like to feel the power of this cryolator I have over here? Yep, they call me Mr. Freeze. There we go. Go, get out of here. Feel the wrath of my snowballs, you stupid hounds. Look at that. You can destroy these guys whether you're in vats or outside of vats. Watch this. Goodbye now. Look at that. I just knew he was dead. His health wasn't even down all the way, and I just knew he was dead. Hello, guys. Would y'all like to feel the power of the cryolator or something? There we go. Fantastic. Do we have a floater around or anything like that? Usually there's a floater here that tries to kill me, but looks like they're scared of the cryolator. Let me just come over here. Hey, guys. How's it going? Now, I did get word that I am pretty racist against super immunes, so I do apologize about that. And now I'm going to offer you guys to come to my house, have some coffee, and actually hang out with my other super immune friend. Y'all want to hang out? All you got to do is stop shooting me and put the guns down. No? No? Okay, then. Look at that. It's not my fault. It's completely theirs. They just do not like me. I think it's the power armor or something, but they just cannot vibe. Here we go. Just a couple more shots. And these super mutants are... Wait, 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 wait. We got one more. Let me... There we go. There we go. Are no more. Now we've made our way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. I'm just going to freeze her real quick. Uh, don't you shoot that laser at me, girl. Do not shoot that Oh, oh, you're shooting that laser. I told you not to do that. There we go. We're just going to lock onto that face. Destroy you real quick. Oh, oh, I'm starting to yawn over here. Oh, is there anything hitting me or something like that? It doesn't look like it. Uh, get out of here, you stupid, stupid scorch. And you too. Oh, oh, I forgot you were shooting me. My bad, my bad. Here, we'll continue combat real quick. Here, just let me load my gun real quick. Eat my snowballs. Oh, 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 she got to slither of health real quick. Eat my snowballs. The next target on our list for the demonstrations is the one they call Mrs. Krabs. And look at her over there just minding her business. Let's see if we can hit her from here. Oh, got to aim it just a little bit higher. We did hit her, but, you know, we want to hit her in the face. You like these snowballs, Mrs. Krabs? I know it's not cold out here or anything, but, yeah, I do have some snowballs. There we go. Fantastic. Now we're going to lock onto her face because that's where we're going to get the most amount of damage. I just missed a ton, but that's okay. She is crippled. Oh. Look at her. She's like, you want some? You want some? Of course I do, Mrs. Krabs. Here we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, the only thing bad is that recoil. I have to hold down on my aim button just so it doesn't go all crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! Woo, that's okay. That's okay with all the power that we get out of it. It's completely fine. Oh, get off of me, you stupid crab. Mrs. Krabs, you doing good out there? You look a little bit frozen. You look a little bit chilly. Let me just uh, finish you off real quick. That way you don't have to suffer that much. Fantastic, and just like that, our Mario Alert Queen is no more. Now, over in the build, these are the base stats that make up our in game Cryolator build that I use for the video. So, if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in game Cryolator build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all Kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have all the Heavy Gunner cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. We have Blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception we have six and this one can have concentrated fire at one star bats now targets limbs focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot we have glow sight at three stars deal plus 60 percent damage to glowing enemies we have grenadier at two stars your explosives detonate with twice the radius and this card actually works with the legendary perk card far flung fireworks over in endurance we have 12 and this one can have life giver at three stars gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health we have kin fiend at two stars any kims you take last 60 percent longer and we are taking overdrive and psychotats in this video we have fireproof at three stars take 45 percent 
to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this one can have Filter Gen at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radical will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make a target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 9 and this one can have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Batteries included at 3 stars. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 90% less. Over in Agility, we have 11 and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a 10% max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have One Gun Army at 3 stars. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back to your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak at 3 stars. Three stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. We have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. Over in Legendary Perk Cards, these are the Legendary Perk Cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off in Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength maxed out. Luck maxed out. Electric Absorption at 1 star. And Far Flung Fireworks at 2 stars. These are the Legendary Perk Cards. Now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Starting off over in the armor, what we're we're using is my full set of T65 Overeaters Power Armor, and the reason we use Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters, and if you eat a perfect bubble gum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, we're using Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skelly Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a max 20 to our AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. Fire Cap Tasty Souffle to get a plus 70 to our energy resistance. Perfect Bubble Gum, that way our hunger and thirst meters do not increase. And Silt Bean Parade to get a plus 30 to our damage resist. Over in the Kimbos, we're using Overdrive to get a plus 25% to our critical damage. And Psycho Tat to get a plus 2.58 to our perception. Damage resist increase and a plus 21% to our damage. If you enjoy Fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video for one of the best heavy guns in all of Fallout 76, the Bloodied Gauss Minigun. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it the screen right now. You see that? That is my Gauss minigun video.